I'm State Senator Tim Schaefer and Chair of the uh, Ways and Means Committee in the Senate and uh, it was a real honor and pleasure to be able to work on this legislation uh, and I want to uh, tip my hat to Chairman Amstutz in the House for uh, doing so much of the heavy lifting on this legislation and I uh, really did a fantastic job as well as Governor your support of wanting to make sure we're bringing jobs to Ohio that every bill that we pass and send to your desk and that you sign somehow helps and benefits uh, families and the business community in creating jobs in this state. This is such an important orientation. I tell you, it was a great team effort. Uh, Commissioner Testa, uh, all your work and your guys and gals, uh, and uh, uh, Director Goodman's, it was a great team effort. And, uh, you know, I'm really, if you like acronyms, this was a great bill to work on, too, because we worked on uh, dits and cats and <laughs> fits and, you know, I said to my staff sometimes, dits and dats, uh, I'm not sure what all we had, but uh, it was really a, a fascinating piece of legislation to work on and to make sure that we were maximizing the jobs production, the potential of jobs production in the Senate to make sure that uh, we gave the governor a bill, first gave the House back a bill to uh, acknowledge and then send to the governor a uh, piece of legislation that would be very effective. I really think this bill is one of those sleeper bills that, while we call it a financial institutions, ta uh, uh, financial institutions bill, it is going to be a jobs producing bill, whether it's jobs directly by the financial institutions hiring, or wh whether it's in the form of loans to all, the, uh, like Sarah mentioned, to small business, physicians' offices, uh, whatever kind of business entity it is. Jobs are going to come out of this bill, and it's going to be great to watch, and it's going to be a lot of fun to watch as it strengthens our economy, strengthens families in this state, and uh, everybody benefits. So, again, thank you all for everything you've done to uh, move this bill forward. And I'd like to bring up Mr. Joe Testa. Senator, thank you. Now, I know Joe is going to—I guess he's going to say something. He's going to introduce me, but let me just tell you. Um, <clears throat> in fact, I just—I—I I can't believe we actually did this. Joe found out that businesses were paying taxes to the state of Ohio and they were overpaying. But nobody told the businesses they were overpaying. So the state would mums the word and they could hold this money for four years and then it ended up in the state coffers. So Joe found this out. Now this was right around Christmas. So now guess what we did? We said if you've overpaid as a business, we're going to give you your money back. And that day, I think we passed out $13 million worth of refunds. Now, that's the way a government ought to work, right? Not take the money and try to hide it when it's overpaid, but actually help people. Joe has done this. He's done a great job, and he's reducing the backlog that we have in the state of Ohio through the, uh, through the appeals process. In fact, Ronnie's going to come up with a new appeals process that uh, I think you're going to like to give people better options. So he's doing a great job as the tax commissioner. Thanks for the budget preview. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's coming later. That's, not, that's, that's, a little, that. that's just oh. a little thing. Oh. <laughs> I, I've not been introduced by the governor before, so I, I appreciate that opportunity. Uh, thank you for that, for the honor of being here and being a part of your, for your team. Um, the, 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 the thanks goes to my staff. Uh, Charlie's back here, uh, worked on 510 uh, tirelessly from beginning to end. The uh, refunds that the governor just mentioned as well came from staff. I mean, they bring these things forward and they see that they're wrong, we try, try to fix them. House Bill 510 did a few things. When we, we approached the governor about it, he basically set out some goals for us. He wanted to close a very significant loophole that was in the tax code. It was about $30 million wide. He wanted to close that loophole, bring some fairness and simplicity to this system, and, and bring some equity to the community banks, as Sarah mentioned earlier. Clearly, if you look at the, the entire list, which of course in the tax department we're allowed to do, uh, then you see the disparity. It's glaring. It was glaring. And clearly needed to be addressed. And so the work with, uh, with Chairman Amstutz and, and, and Senator Schaefer and our staff and our entire team uh, made, this, made this a reality. Uh, revenue neutrality, we weren't looking to increase state revenue, we're looking at holding it the same as it was basically, and we put some triggers into the bill that if in fact it generates more than we expected, we will adjust the rates accordingly and so on. So I think it's a good fair bill, glad and thrilled to be a, a part of it, had some role in it, and uh, so we're glad to, uh, to, to bring this, uh, this uh, great day here for, for Ohio, we think, today. Uh, so without any further ado, Sarah.